In today's video, we will be taking an unboxing and an overview of the MSI MAG A750GL PCIe 5 power supply. Now regular viewers of my channel will know that I do quite like MSI products. And then I saw this 750 watt power supply come up from MSI for £95 on uh, Amazon. And I thought, yeah, you know, I I'm wanting to invest in my channel. I'm wanting to actually go forward with, with these videos and I think this power supply will give me you know really great opportunity to go out and actually buy the more middle to sort of low end graphics cards and 750 watts is going to be plenty for us for what we need and it's also gold rated 80 plus gold rated so it's all good and it has all the modern features you want from a power supply too so your ATX 3.0 compatible and your PCIe 5 ready. So it has that 12 pin Nvidia connector, which obviously everyone's kind of talking about at the moment. So let's crack on, let's get the unboxing going and then we'll uh, show you basically what you get. So as you can see, really nicely packaged here. This is the little pouch for all the cables, so I'll take that out. So it's a nice little pouch where it keeps all the cables. Now this power supply is fully modular. It cleans up all your cables basically, and you, and you only have to use the cables that you actually want to use, which is really great. So actually, I'll, I'll get the power supply out first actually. Really well packaged again, this, you know, in shipment, this is never gonna, cause any damage which is obviously what you want because a power supply damage is obviously a very bad thing let's just get it out so first of all fan side up this is quite a smallish fan it's only about 120 millimeter fan let's actually just measure the power supply first of all just so you've got the actual correct uh, so yes it's actually only 14 centimeters in width so yeah only 14 centimeters this will take up in your case so that's actually really good, especially for a 750 watt power supply. That's really, that's really quite compact. So it's really great to see that. So as we said, quite a compact little fan there, which I think is about 120 millimeters, but I'll put it below if not. We have our ratings at the top here. Let's have a look at that. There's not really much on the sides, obviously, but uh, you know, kind of nice branding, I guess, for when you put it in your case, if you've got one of those cases that obviously you can see the power supply through the power supply shroud. So I put all the ratings below uh, so you can see that, I put a little table, but there's actually one 12 volt rail, which is really good to see because some power supplies, uh, especially like 750 watt or 650 watt, they put multiple 12 volt rails, which isn't ideal, but this just has one strong 12 volt rail, which actually pro provides 744 watts. So that's really good. It's a, the 12 volt, rail has 62 amps so you've got plenty for your graphics cards there obviously we do see our 80 plus gold rating which is obviously great to see so you know you're getting a very efficient power supply now let's move to our connectors here uh, so we have the ATX 24 pin and 24 pin also goes to here as well so it's all kind of like the two connectors then we have a CPU and a PCIe connector which is the 8 pin connector then we have another, well, three P, um, CPU or PCIe connectors. So potentially you could connect one CPU cable for your eight pin CPU supplementary power. And then you could potentially hit, you could potentially get three eight pin cables into your power supply as well. So if you do have a very, very sort of demanding um, and, you know, heavy juice sort, sort of uh, graphics card, you know, a graphics card that's going to uh, need a lot of power, then you've got plenty of power here. And this is the 12 volt uh, two by six pin, which is obviously the, the 12 pin NVIDIA cable for the very modern RTX 30 and also 40 series graphics cards. Like your 4060 won't have that connector, but I think the 47, so I think 4070 and 4070 Ti have those connectors, but if your graphics card doesn't have that, you obviously still have the old connectors, which you can use the more standard older connectors. But if you do have one of those 12 pin connectors on your graphics card, then it's just a cable from one, one cable from the power supply directly to your card. No other adapters, no other fiddling around with that 
stupid little adapter which goes to like three eight pin headers and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. It's just one cable. So that's the really good thing with this power supply. So you've got plenty of future proof in here. And also talking about future proofing, you've got a seven year warranty with this power supply as well. So it's really good that MSI do that because they really back their products. And you know, it's really good to see that manufacturers do still offer a good warranty for obviously things like power supplies because power supply, although a little bit of a boring component in a PC, certainly a gaming PC, it is a vital component and it, it is providing all your power and having a good power supply which you've invested money into that's going to last you five, six, seven years is worthwhile in my opinion. I know some people might say go for a more cheaper power supply but you can have problems with them but I mean there's obviously you can have problems with newer ones and more expensive ones but the, generally the reliability on your like MSI, your Corsair power supplies, and obviously your Seasonic power supplies, or the more top end Seasonic power supplies anyway, you're gonna be fine with these power supplies and you shouldn't really have any issues. And then we have four connectors for either SATA cables or the Molex cables, but obviously now we'll move on to the cables. So yes, we do actually have a standard this is i'm obviously in the uk so we have a standard uk plug it is, it is quite a nice case and you can close that quite easily and it's obviously reusable for multiple times so when you're swapping out cables that's great uh, we have four screws here for uh, installing your power supply into your case let's open up these cables now so let's talk about the connector that probably most people are going to be buying this power supply for which is the 12 pin uh, Nvidia connector for your graphics card. So as you can see that there, let's, let's just, um, I'll do measurements as well. So this is just roughly over 60 centimeters or what is 24 inches. So that's long enough for more or less all graphics cards to, to reach from your power supply. So I also forgot to mention that it is sort of yellow um, color coded as well. So that's, that's good to kind of stand it out. So now moving on to our 24 pin main ATX motherboard connector. So that's where it terminates into the power supply. So you have one end here and one end there. So you can fit that in. And then we have a 20 pin with a four pin extra at the side as well. So, I mean, it's unlikely you're gonna have a 20 pin motherboard. You're gonna have a 24 pin for almost every modern motherboard, but it, 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 it is there if you do only have the 20 pin motherboards. And this is about the same of 60 centimeters or 24 inches as well. So it should be plenty of length to go to your motherboard there. Then we have two CPU supplementary power cables. So if you are using a motherboard that maybe has an eight pin CPU supplementary connector with an additional four pin or even an additional eight pin on your motherboard. So you've got two eight pins or, or eight pin and a four pin then you will have that compatibility with this power supply. So that's great as well. So this is about 77 centimeters or so and about 30 inches. So you're gonna have plenty of room to actually feed that even if you're in a dual chamber type case or if you're bottom or top mounting your power supply, you won't have a problem getting to the uh, ATX uh, supplementary power for your CPU. So we have here two different connectors actually, which is a little bit odd, but it's okay. The first PCI connector actually comes with two six plus two pin cables, um, or connectors, sorry. Uh, so we have one six plus two and another six plus two. So that's about 25 inches or 64 centimeters. Uh, but you do have a little bit more play because it's obviously it's like a, a pigtail, like a, a dual one basically. So you've got a little bit extra there. If you are putting your eight, eight pin plus eight pin or six pin G, GPU connectors together, then you can do that. But you do have optionally as well, another one, which I, I'm pretty sure is exactly the same length, which is just a, it just goes one six plus two pin connector. So you don't get the two on them, which is a little bit odd. It would have been nice to actually see four six plus two connectors but you know this is for graphics cards that maybe have the three connectors so it has three eight pin connectors so you've got the third one there if you are using a very sort of heavy and like a high-end um, gpu then connecting three pci uh, connectors up obviously is is for that to be aware this this power supply really i mean most people aren't going to do it but if you do want to 
uh, have dual GPUs or dual graphics cards, then this power supply isn't really for you. And it's, it's it really is more catered towards one big GPU, one you know one like uh, high end GPU, and that's it. So just be aware of that. And then we have a SATA connector which has four outlets or like four SATA ports. And this what this one's <laughs> this one this this one's really really long cable. This one this one's about a meter. Yeah, about a meter, 39 inches a meter. So yeah, you, you've got plenty of room there. Then you've got an exactly identical cable, which is obviously the four SATA connectors again. So you can have, I mean, potentially you could have eight drives, eight SATA drives on this one power supply. And then lastly, we just have our Molex connector here. Four Molex connectors, plus you've got a floppy drive connector as well, if you do have a floppy, but again, no, almost no one has a floppy drive in 2023, do they? And again, that cable sort of comes to about 95 centimetres or about 37 inches. So yeah, I hope you like that little overlook, guys, of this power supply and a little unboxing. Now, I really want to get this um, power supply. I mean, it did cost me £95, but I'm really happy to actually invest in my channel so we can actually get those higher-end graphics cards. I mean, probably initially we won't be going too high end, obviously. Uh, my budget doesn't allow that at the moment. But I'm hoping down the line we'll be able to move on to those sort of higher end 40 series cards or maybe even go down the AMD route with a 6700 XT or something like that. So I think that kind of wraps this video up. If you did like it, leave us a like. Please comment on what you think of this power supply and whether you potentially would get it with obviously that um, 12 pin NVIDIA connector that might kind of sell it for a lot of people. And I do think for 95 pounds, 80 plus gold, 750 watt power supply is pretty reasonable and a decent deal from a very good manufacturer. So hope you liked that video guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.